it is time. This is an interesting band that I found. Um, they are called, I don't know how, but they found me. Um, and the band that says that the footage for this uh, video that we're going to see was first thought to be a conceptual art piece produced by the band before making music videos had become standard music industry practice. While the exact date and circumstances under which it was produced are unclear, the anonymous donor of the footage claims that it had been screened to students for nearly 20 years as part of a public school curriculum until it was discontinued in 1984. But it's funny because the band formed in 2016. Let's check it out. I don't know how, I don't know how, but they found me. This is do it all the time. Music, one of man's greatest achievements, is quickly becoming more popular with each. What is that day. logo behind we the text? <laughs> that's the that's some Illuminati <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a butt. Not by man, but by machine. <laughs> <laughs> a little victim is crying And when I'm taking your innocence I'll be corrupting your mind And I'll need to cry I'm only doing anything I want to do Because I do it all the time Cool So Sam, what do you think? I like this a lot. I'm 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 still just being like, what what is this vibe? Uh, yeah, like, like, like what, what am I watching what, here? What, what, what is the energy that they're that they're putting out? Um, <laughs> I mean, it it reminds me of the Talking Heads a little bit in me that too. Like, weird robotic synthy thing, mm -hmm. retro thing. It reminds me of that song by the Hives, "Walk Idiot Walk." You know that song? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the song, yeah. video for that too. Yeah. Um yeah, really I'm still just kind of pro what what is that mic? What, what, what is that like It's like old home, It's like Bob home, Barker. Cord. It's like an old like 1970s <laughs> uh, home recording uh, microphone. I think that came with the uh square recorders uh, that they used to have back then. The only only this is the same recorders everybody had. Uh in I your home it. it's like uh, a portable I recorder with a handle. I wonder if in making this video they they put very specific thought into what kind of cable they wanted to use for that mic. Oh, obviously, it really, it's just the, the cherry on top. That let's that find cord the cord. let's find the most vintage equipment we can find. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, so they said that that footage was all that. Of course, it was a ruse. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, but they found me. The name of the band. The song's called "Do It All the Time," and it's two people in the band: Dallin Weeks, uh, who does uh, lead vocals, guitar, synthesizers, piano. P piano, piano, listen to me. Uh, ukulele production and uh, everything, and uh, the, the drummer Ryan Seaman did uh, percussion, drumming, and backing vocals. I think their vocals are really cool. Actually, the the way that some of their higher vocals are going is it reminds me of some of the um, eclectic, like Japanese pop stuff that we've listened to here. It kind of has that kind of sound to it, almost like a future funk kind of sound mixed in, like on top of a layer of the. A kind of 80s electronic vibe that's going on. It's very quirky, though. Mm -hmm. That's a good pop dance song. And I also, 
the more that we keep doing this show, the more that I think it's interesting when bands and artists choose to put renditions of themselves playing instruments in the in the music video. Yeah. Because a lot of the times it's not like that, and a lot of times it is, and it's like, you know, I think it's an interesting choice of, like, they're trying to make it look old, but they're also kind of jamming to, and... You know they're obviously not playing what they're what they're actually playing on there. Like you see the drummer, he's just doing like this little thing, and mm-hmm. I just think it's fascinating. Like when I watch things like this again, how does like a group of people get together to make an idea like this and then execute it and then all agree on like how it should all go, and uh, and then get signed. Right. And then exactly because it's like if you had all the money in the if you didn't have that much money. Right. And you were in a band that's just starting and you're like, okay, like we need to put, you know, invest everything into this one song, into this one music video that's Mm going to come out. Right. Would it look and sound like this? Maybe, Mm -hmm. maybe not. And uh, this go on. In some way, this is an example of kind of like stretching very little to go very far i mean like mm-hmm. they're in front of a green screen or something they've just got some equipment there's only like a few elements of the video that are just kind of well cut together but mm-hmm. they're like there's not actually any like fancy set or fancy narrative or filming um but it, it, yeah so it's 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 kind of like all right like we only have a little bit of equipment and we have like you know a camera how can we make right. a whole video so that, that's kind of what it reminds me of Really good point. You're actually right. This does look like someone that's trying to stretch their dollar. Um, And I also think that like they put this like film over it where it's like this kind of filter that makes it look, you know, really old as well, which I really appreciate. And they're kind of like a new modern take on Devo. Yeah. Yeah. I do like how he never looks in the camera, but the drummer never stops looking in the camera. (laughs) <laughs> That's cool. Kind of like Phoenix, too. Yeah, a lot like Phoenix. You're right. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at the game. You know, I, I kind of have to wonder if they filmed some parts of that at like a slower speed and then sped it up to achieve that kind of robotic effect in his motions. Right, he was really glitchy. Yeah. I'm going to check out more of them. That was really cool. How'd you find them, EJ? Look, <laughs> looking around. <laughs> Just looking around. And I was like, what's this? Yeah, Adam uh, uh, Voglite in the chat says, obsessed with this song, reminds me of OK Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great um, great comparison. For okay. sure. This was really cool. And it just, I like this whole, you know, the way that all of the music flowed today. And I like how ending on like a nice little pop song was really, was really nice. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.